Welcome to Rauta Beyond, Life Beyond Metal. Welcome to Rauta Reacts and Reviews, the series The Continental, a mini-series of three episodes, it's uh, full like movie with the length and all, related to the world of John Wick, you know, the action movie series with four episodes out and then some, including video game and all. But now let's take a look at this The Continental uh, miniseries trailer. What's it all about and why should we really care? And I will, of course, um, comment on the series and the trailer as we go. In case you don't know what John Wicks are all about, it's a lot of combat, melee and gunfights and all with Ken Reeves and all that stuff. Whatever, it started as a silly, but really, really good action What's movie, became something counts. more serious, something more mysterious with coming movies. It's more layers yes. were added, which created uh, an no interesting not. world, but in a way, lost a lot of action along the way. Well, now, this series, The Continental, um, is a little bit different. So, once again, from this the world of John Wick, uh, we come to the power past, things, eras of before Winston, uh, John Wick from me. started doing what, whatever he does. And obviously, this show has a lot of cool combat parts. Very so, there are lots of links, obviously, to the world of John Wick, apart from the world Fine, itself. If you don't there are interesting the gunfights, interesting hand-to-hand -hand fights, Mel wrong. Gibson as one of the sure, villains, um, and a beautiful way to yeah, big you know, look here. at the city of Frankie. New York. We have to also, first. how they are using and I need all the, help the I can music get. of the timeline, I 1970s, the I think it's fantastic. But more importantly, this it's features crevasse. quite a cast that is interesting main characters and side characters. And they all have Every their roles to play. Hotel will be so it's way more diverse oh, voting it. action as well as dialogue and all that stuff than John Wick movies. Guns. So it definitely Lots kind of, of deserves more time than just one, two or three hour movie. Where's John Wick? The fourth was, or chapter four, was Disappointment. This one actually is, in my opinion, a likable one. Surely, sometimes the action is out of the borders, it gets this is justice. the very same way problematic as some John Wick ones, that is, the fights this? last sometimes too much for their own good, and some of the kung fu, karate, whatever action is like and everything silly, that comes with but the good fights are not that much over the top than, you know, Except that a lot of enemies are like bullet sponge enemies, like you can shoot them many, many times, especially if they're main characters, and it uh, feels like they're never going to die. So it's like they have this endless amount of um, hit points, in the sense of like, uh, talking about video game terms here. But apart from that, the action is overall, in my opinion, better than most John Wick action parts. So is this on par with the first John Wick movie? Nope. Is it on par with the second, third, or fourth ones? Definitely. I think actually this is better than John Wick 4 or John Wick 2. Roughly the same level with the John Wick the third. Because some of the parts are really, really making this world more interesting. With the layers of mysticism and the, how the world is built upon these weird assassins or fighters, whatever soldiers they are and kind of explaining what happened before John Wick, how the whole thing was more or less founded, how the Continental Hotel became to be what it was. And even though this still doesn't go to the very, very roots, but it explains the time. And Mel Gibson does a fantastic job as his psychopathic uh, villain of sorts. An interesting uh, variety of characters indeed, as well as the music and how it's visually done. So I would say this is actually pretty good. Not as good as I hoped it to be, mind you. And it's kind of a length because you have like three episodes where every episode is worth like 90 minutes plus. Meaning it's worth three movies, individual ones. But overall, it's actually a pretty enjoyable one. And it's not overextending its stay. That means once you're done with the three series, you're done for good. And then you move on. So... In that respect, definitely worth a watch, especially if you're a fan of John Wick. Even if you are not, maybe this series is still worth a watch because it actually features some nice 1970s New York City 
stuff including gangs and violence and all that stuff. But don't expect anything too twisty in the terms of narrative and uh, storytelling. It's just, in the end, something that is um, built around these action movies and that's it. So with these words, I urge you to give it a shot. But in case you're not interested, I totally understand that as well. Now, if you have seen it, what are your thoughts about the series? Did you like it or did you not? Now, off you go. See you soon with more reviews coming your way. Bye bye.